Well, hello there, guys. How are you doing today? Kimberly and I are doing great. Little princess here. Today, I'm going to show you how to grate vegan cheese. Vegan cheese is pretty easy to make. There's so many different recipes. You can go on Pinterest, and a lot of them use cashews. And to thicken it, usually it's tapioca starch or carrageenan or xanthan gum or agar agar. Um, there's so many great recipes out there. I have a video on how to make mozzarella cheese using tapioca starch and um, cashews. I also really like the uh, recipe book Vegan Artesian Cheese. If you don't have it, I totally recommend um, that book. A lot of the recipes call for vegan yogurt, which I can't get around here. I tend to just make my own. One quick cheater way that I made vegan yogurt is I just took a block of tofu, I blended it in the blender and I added a probiotic powder tablet and let it sit on the counter overnight and the end product does not taste like yogurt that you're going to eat but it has that cultured taste to add to your vegan cheeses anyways I'm going to show you how I grate my vegan cheese I'll be making a pizza or a grilled cheese for my husband and this is what you have you have this thing solid mass of cheese and it is kind of thick and gooey very hard to spread out on a pizza so what I do is I will cut it into I will cut it into shapes and I will plastic wrap it and then I will freeze it I cut it into this shape because it's going to fit into my food processor now I have the Breville food processor if you do not have a really good food processor this might be difficult now this is frozen salad it will grate it but it will kind of powderize it so when your vegan cheese is this hard I don't recommend putting it in a food processor mine will do it but I'm wondering what it's doing to the motor when I do it it just it powderizes it all I have to do is thaw it out for a little while on the counter or put it in the microwave for a few seconds. Not too many seconds because you don't want it to be squishy because then it will just turn into mush. So I'm going to put it in the microwave for a few seconds and then I'm going to grate it. Just give it a little tiny bit of a give with my fingers. I have made the mistake of thawing it too much and it's just squishy and weird. So now I have my coarse grater on my food processor and I'm going to grate it. You want to freeze it into a shape that's going to fit into your food processor. My food processor won't turn on if this does not connect. Even though I didn't thaw it out too much, it's still going to be a little bit squishy. So what I do is I get it into a Tupperware container and I get it in the freezer right away. Okay, now this will not stay nice and shredded like this. It will sort of freeze together. But when you go to use it in a recipe, it'll be a lot easier to use. You'll be able to break it apart. All right, well, I hope that tip helped you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Vegan grilled cheese. Making a pizza. Here's what it looks like when it's frozen. It kind of clumps together. I just so much easier to put on your pizza.